In the RESTORE acronym, S stands for support. Now let me read you this great scripture from Luke 11, 9. So I say to you, ask and it will be given to you. Seek and you will find. Knock and the door will be opened to you. This, this area of support requires humility. If we think we have it all together, then we're never going to ask anybody for support. We're not going to knock on any doors. We're not going to seek and find what God has for us. In fact, we'll sit around and we'll wait for God to do what maybe God is waiting for us to do. I talk about the, uh, the laying on of hands as a big part of healing. Maybe not in the way that you expect, although I do believe in miraculous healing. But a lot of people are waiting for God and what they really need to do is lay their hands on the steering wheel of a car and drive to meet with a pastor or meet with a Christian counselor. Go to a support group. Attend something where you're face to face with other people who can truly help you in the restoration process. But it requires this thing that, that my wife calls humbling down. And our arrogance will prevent us from reaching out to other people and getting the support that we need. Pride will prevent us from admitting, I can't do this alone. Well, you know, Jesus asked for support in the Garden of Gethsemane. He had people there. It is not a weakness to admit that we need support. It's a great strength and it's a big part of restoration. I hope and pray that you can knock on some doors. You can seek some things that God would have you look for right here around you. Not wait for him to do, not wish, not use false hope, but get the support that you need.